Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled "Taking the Road Less Traveled." Love to quote Robert Frost's poem: "And two roads diverge in the woods, and I took the path less traveled, and that made all the difference." And he liked that. He appreciated. It. Actually, met Robert Frost up a state. His quiet home before he passed away, he very much appreciated his ideas and insights and messages. And that was Rav Aaron's life in many ways, taking, taking a path less traveled. 1970, leave YU, where he was slated to become the Rosh Hashiva and take over for the Rav eventually. And he certainly took a path less traveled, setting up shop in Gush. Coming to Rosh Yeshiva, but has the Yeshiva, which was a totally new phenomena. KBY already had a has the Yeshiva, but that was set up by our Goldrich under the Chazon Isha's auspices, where if a person who's not going to go straight Yeshiva is going to go to the army, at least have some some time learning. As opposed to Rav no, no. Zot Ratach has there. This is the path, the ideal path. The Ben Torah should be in the army together with his learning. And it's not like Nebuch for those who won't go full-time learning. This is what a full-time occupation should look like for, for a young man, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. He should be learning and serving in, in so That was a path less traveled than he took at Ravara. And look what he created. The father of the Hesder world in so many ways. And I think this is an incredible message, incredible message about taking the path less traveled. And Rabbi Sachs writes an amazing article, The Courage to Live with Uncertainty. That sometimes we take a path less traveled and it's going against the tide, like Avram Avinu did, like Noah did. People look at you, like down on you, they mock you. But we do that. So every Jew that keeps Torah and mitzvot, that's, of course, something that's mocked by many Gentiles around the world. But even within Orthodox Judaism, especially with the creation of the State of Israel, it opens up so many paths, so many new ideas. How do we deal with conquering Israel, with holding on to the land? How do we deal with the army, army and Torah? How do we deal with Harabayit? How do we deal with Tchelis that's become big again? How do we deal with building the Migdash? There's no one monolithic approach here. And a person that wants to really learn, develop himself as a Ben Torah, as a Talmud Chacham, and learn and try to figure out what's the best way forward. How do we relate to this phenomenon called the state? How do we relate to the concept called Geula? Can we identify what Geula is? So many of us who are exploring it and are learning and developing ourselves not to meet the Chacham in person on the side, doesn't develop himself just like a, a, an amateur can't have any new innovations in the world of medicine or in physics. You have to be in it to win it. So too, so too here. Of course, has to be a Talmud Chacham, develop himself, develop herself, and possibly end up taking a path less traveled. And make courageous decisions. A new phenomena now, last couple of years, are Christians coming to Israel, bringing money and living here and harvesting the land, helping the Jewish farmers. Wow, how do we deal with that? They're talking about the times of redemption, but they're believing in Jesus. Wow. Do we say this is a disaster? Are they here to proselytize? Do we say, well, they don't say that they're here. Oh, we know why they're here. But they're bringing money and they're helping and they're making videos around the world telling the world and their Christian brothers how good the Jews are here, and how there's a promise being fulfilled, there's redemption. How do you deal with that? So there's no set halacha here one way or another. You can have rabbis have different opinions on it. And many of us are going to travel on the road less traveled. And as Force says, and that made all the difference. May all of us who are traveling roads that aren't always traveled on before, and there may be less Jamaican, give us all siyata dishmayim, to explore things properly and to try to make good decisions about which road we should travel on. When new issues come up for Kla Yisrael, for Am Yisrael, how to relate to our communities, to our Am, to the Amim, the nations, 
And sometimes there's new roads. And it's not so black and white. And it's not like Allah has a clearance this way, that way. And we may end up on roads less traveled. May Hashem bless us all with chachma, with bina, with das, with insight to take whichever road is appropriate and that that should make all the difference. Shalom.